How did you find all this? <laughs> practice, practice. <laughs> really? Yes, and working with wonderful people and listening and going and watch. I see a lot of theater. I do go to a lot of theater. And I go, why, why, why am I losing this here? What's going on? Why am I not hearing this? Why, uh, why is this not connecting to me? And, you know, I worked with Kristen Linkletter, Patsy Rodenberg, the voice teachers here, Janine Pearson. I keep, um, uh, but it's listening. When I'm directing students, I'm listening. I'm not watching all the time. I can close my eyes and go, mm, you don't like that word, do you? Because they'll skate over it. Like, how can you tell they're skating over it? It's not invested. They don't need it. How can you tell it's not invested? Uh, the, uh, their voice drops out. It becomes neutral. Their voice drops out. Or, or they're, they're dropping that to get to the one they really like. Right. They're moving, they're moving beyond that word to get to the one they really like. So you can hear that student's connection to yeah. a word yeah. or not. Yeah. And you know, when I came here, <clears throat> one of the few notes I got when I was playing Juliet was Peter Dews was directing a British director. And Stephen Chipper was the assistant director. Stephen Chipper now, you know, the artistic director of the Royal Manager of the Theatre Centre. And I was doing Gallop Pace, And I was, you know, Gallop Pace. You fire this, did it once. Nothing. Okay. And I tried it again. Did it. No response. I went, okay. And I thought, I thought of something else to self-initiate. And I, I encourage this in young actors. Don't expect, you know, to be given to you by the director. And uh, I went again, and Stephen got up and went, yes, yes, that was great. What you did there, this was great. Peter, <laughs> the director, well, I'm afraid I can't get quite as excited as you. I'm afraid the R in curtain was a bit hard. And I said, uh, would you like me to soften it, Peter? No, 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 that's the problem with us foreign directors. It's just at that moment you ceased to be Juliet. You sounded a bit like a Canadian actress. And I looked at him and I said, yes, that's what I am. And then he said, fine, fine, that'll be fine for the night. <laughs> I was very adamant about my R's because I know that as a Canadian, if I say, you have broken my heart and I'm trying to do some kind of mid-Atlantic something because it sounds poetic and it sounds what I think Shakespeare should be, it has no connection to me. I don't know what that word is. But if I say, you have broken my heart, that connects to me. Am I right in believing that Peter Muse was the director who directed a man called Miles Potter? Peter in, Dews, yes. In the comedy of errors. Yes. At which point, it got to a certain level of frustration. And Miles said, fine, I'll direct the well, scene. Well, I can do it. And Peter said, well, then go ahead. And Miles did. He directed. He, he had an idea of why this would work. Um, this comic scene going back and forth to the, to the each side of the stage, and and then lo and behold, John Hirsch walked in in the middle of it because I guess word had gotten down that there was some kind of rebellion <laughs> in the rehearsal hall, and John watched, and then apparently he came up to Miles later and said, "You missed just one thing," <laughs> something <laughs> like this, but it was uh, yeah. He did, because Peter, he said, oh, well, oh, yeah, all right, that's fine. Was that the beginning of Miles' directing career? No, he had started before, I, I think, believe. Oh, okay. I think he had done um, Le Canadien before that. Right. I think. Um, uh, so, yeah.